I don't know if you do any ad review studies, but we have um, ad review tools. I thought I would at least mention that. And we have two ways to do this. Um, the first is the, the typical method of doing uh, quantification like we do with all of the other tracers, be that SPECT or PET, where there is an actual normal file. Um, but in this case, it's kind of flipped from the REST perfusion FDG. So in, in this case, we uh, quantify the ad review study and then the resting study is used much like the FDG to see if there's uptake in the resting perfusion that correlates to uh, a defect in the ad review. For this particular patient, it's uh, fairly normal. There's a small defect here in the anterior wall um, and there wasn't enough uptake and rest in that area to um, pass the threshold. That's why it still stays black. So that's one method of doing the ad review quantification, but we also can reconstruct the actual ad review planar projections and then do a heart to media steinum ratio. So um, based on the spec study. And so based on the spec study, we get the heart to media steinum ratio of 4.23 for this particular patient, which is uh, very high and very normal. It starts to get abnormal around the 2.5 or less range. And so you can see for this particular patient, it's very normal. So again, just another um, another tool in, in the toolbox is ad review.